Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's daily love tarot reading. Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. I appreciate all of you that do those things on the channel. All that engagement really does help my channel. So I do appreciate that so, so much. Also, if you're interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of this video. So today we are asking your person's next actions, okay? So let's see for the general collective here, your person's next actions. And again, if you were, draw Ooh, if you were drawn to the thumbnail, um, then you could have messages here, but only take what resonates with you, okay? These still are general readings, just like the pick a card readings, whatever resonates with you is what you should take because these messages are meant to confirm what your intuition is already telling you, okay? So threshold, wow. So your person's next actions are coming soon, <laughs> okay? That's first up. So whatever's gonna happen, I feel like it's they want it to happen now. Okay, and always keep in mind energy does shift and change really quickly. That's why these weekly or daily energy checks are so beneficial. They were so beneficial to me on my journey um, because one little thing can really shift or change an entire situation. Your person's next actions. Your person's next actions. For the general collective, please, your person's next actions, patience. So they're going to move forward slowly. It may happen soon, but it's going to be slow movement, okay? So they want to take things slow, whatever it is that they're, they're planning here. They do want to take it slow. They're using self-control. They're very calm about whatever this is. Your person's next actions. Nine of Cups, wow, making your wishes come true. Ooh, nice. All right. So they want to come toward you and make you happy. They're having faith in the universe here too. They're having trust that you are the one here. They want to make your wishes come true. Whoa, they want to make your wishes come true. Ah, I knew it. You are the one, see? Fate, destiny, serendipity. So... They do intend on moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune. This could also mean divine help. They did have faith in the divine here. And th th this card here is about divine intervention. So I do feel like they intend their next actions to be making your wishes come true and moving forward. But I feel like the universe is kind of helping them through it, if that makes sense. Okay, so and, the, and whatever it is, they're taking slow. They're kind of flowing with it, okay? Your person's next actions. Your person's next actions. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so they could be um, taking a step toward building stability with you. Hmm. They're working. They could be working on their stability being next actions they could be um even presenting you with some sort of like offer um not financial offer but what i mean is um presenting you with an offer that will it you'll know that it'll be a good offer for you um meaning they're like they're set in themselves. They're strong, stable, independent, right? So they can take care of themselves. Um, so you'll feel like it's a solid offer. You know, you'll feel like they're not coming in to use you for your abundance or anything like that. You will, you'll feel like it's an equal kind of thing. So I feel like their next actions are working on that abundance or presenting it to you that they've better themselves in some way or something like that mm, okay let's get more what are their their person's next actions 
Next actions, please. Next actions. We're making a mess. <laughs> okay. Your person's next actions, please. Person's next action. Whoa. Okay. A whole bunch fell out here. <laughs> All right. So, wow. Okay. This is a lot. Okay. So we have your person's next actions pretty big here. Definitely taking things slow. Okay. With the Knight of Pentacles. Let me just fix this deck is a huge mess. <laughs> okay. Put that back. Um, they're manifesting the change. Okay. So they are working on making this change. They are taking it slow with the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, your person is freeing themselves from something. Now these three together, poof, all three together. Um, and again, how they came out like, whoa, I feel like there's been a painful cycle between you and I'm feeling like this could be a situation where your person was feeling bound or stuck in another relationship. Okay. Um, with this eight of swords, I'm feeling there was a lot of, um, overthinking, feeling like there was no way out. Three of swords. Okay. This is heartbreak, pain, loss, sadness, right? But this is also about personal growth. And I feel like this is saying here that your person's next actions are to break free from the pain and the heartbreak and the sadness, grow personally, okay, and end this painful cycle in their life, okay? So that was a very powerful message there. And these two with it means they're manifesting a big change in their life. It may take time though with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Um, yeah, they're not all gonna fit, but <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so well, that was a big chunk there. So they're intending on making a big change. Um, whatever it is, I feel like it's fate and destiny. They feel like it's the right path. They feel like it's the way that they're supposed to go. The divine is kind of helping them out as well. Okay. And they're on the threshold of this change. So I feel like whatever that painful with the 10 of swords coming out, that's the end of a painful cycle. So that means your person is ready for change. So I feel like their next actions is coming forward. Okay. Um, with some sort of wish fulfillment here, imagination. Okay. So yeah, they want to, they want to make dreams come true. Your person's next actions, gratitude. So they want to be grateful for you. They want to express gratitude to you. They could be doing this as well. And patience once again. So a lot of slow moving energy here. So your person, whatever they're doing here is going to be slow, but they are taking some sort of action to free themselves from something. Your person's next actions. And it's something, there, there's something to do with that stability there too. I feel like that was a big key for them. They might have been feeling like they weren't stable enough to kind of break free of whatever that situation was. They could have been like dependent a little bit on that person. Okay, maybe they were depending on them financially for some of you. Or maybe the other person was depending on them financially. Hmm. Your person's next actions. And of course, a lot of different energies here. So only take what resonates, of course. Cuddles. So they want to cuddle you. They want to come close. Okay. They want to be next to you. Hmm. They do want to make your dreams come true. Two energies of that here too. Ooh, magic maker. I'm feeling I the immediately when I touched the card, I was like, they want to ask you on a date. So they want to ask you on some sort of a magical date of some sort. Magic maker. They might be asking you to, you know, accompany them somewhere that feels magical. 
Hmm, interesting. I just kind of seen like a picture of like a castle, almost like Disney World. Oh my, Disney World <laughs> or Disneyland, whatever it is. I think there's two. There's one in California, one in Florida. I never know which one's which. Land is in California and World is in Florida. So maybe that resonates for someone. Wow, pretty hmm, cute soulmate. Um, pretty, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, str not strategic. What is the <laughs> specific? <laughs> I couldn't think. Sorry. Pretty specific message there. So they're wanting to take you somewhere special though. Somewhere magical. Hmm. Soulmate. So they do feel like you're the one for them. Okay. Um, so they want to take action toward you because they feel like you're right for them. They feel like it's fate and destiny. Your person's next actions attraction yeah so they're gonna come at you i feel flirty with this card they might be flirting with you since we're asking their next actions i feel like they might want to flirt with you there romance you possibly as well cuddles they definitely want to be next to you they want physical touch romance ah that's funny yeah definitely feeling that already on the romance i mean on the attraction card so they're wanting to romance you I, I am feeling a date here with that magic maker. Soul connection. Whoa, it's powerful. See? So they feel this powerful bond with you. They know you're meant to be. Whoa, that was fast. Taking action. Nice. So they're taking action. Okay, toward you. It's exactly kind of what we were feeling here all the way through, except it is slow and it's okay. Slow is not a bad thing, okay? Um, taking action toward you slowly, manifesting a new change in their life, leaving a painful cycle behind. So they are, um, their next actions are to move forward in their life, which is good. Um, and I do feel, like I said, could be a date coming in to somewhere magical. All right, guys. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.